Hey, hey, 6B's Vadiwa here, and we have a problem. Hinako is mad at her boyfriend, Takukan, who is spending all of his time with an anime pillow. Uh-oh, looks like someone's knocking on Takukan's room. Hey, it's his mom, and goddamn, who needs a girlfriend when you have a mom like this? Now we have new Night Mother LE by PS Boss, and now I can see why Cicero is super obsessed with the Night Mother. Now, first of all, the mod improves the coffin, the textures on the coffin, but I think we all are a little bit more interested in the contents of the coffin, right? Am I right, guys? Am I right? Huh? <laughs> Inside, we have a high poly count uh, replacement of the Night Mother. She kind of looks like uh, an older Megan Fox that has been strapped inside a coffin. So right here, there are three different versions of Decay, from fresh dead to, you know, dead for a few weeks, you know, a little bit smelly and, you know, color change or whatever. For example, her hands, it changes the nail color from a lively red to a pale gray color, and it adds some veins kind of like getting all shriveled and whatnot. Now her face is kind of similar, from a red lipstick to a grey purple, and you can kind of see wrinkles on her forehead, again same reason, you know, it's like she's losing moisture and slowly desiccating. I now understand why ancient Egyptians let beautiful girls that just died to decay a few days under a hot sun to deter the embalmers from getting the wrong idea. Now I, I wasn't going to feature this mod because well, she's obviously uh, naked, but I went ahead and used uh, Jackson's Positioner mod and pasted some clothing over her. Now, the Nazi Fork uh, version of this video will you know, take a closer look, a much closer look at the Night Mother in her natural form. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, you know, for example, the color change of, of her uh, Nepal, yes, like the country, and each version has uh, a hairy version, if you know what I mean. We are going to be leaving behind Taku-kun, his mom, and Hinako alone, and we're going to go back to Skyrim. Okay, so how are we going to do this? We are back at the PC Cafe with my followers, you know, I'm taking them with me, and we're going to be uh, playing, uh, well, playing Skyrim inside of Skyrim. So let's hop onto this PC right here. Okay, clicky, clicky, clacky. Alrighty, we're back in Riverwood. So right now we're going back to Call of Manor because there has been a recent update. Oh yeah. Now we have Call of Manor 4.0 by Alternative and this world space mod just keeps getting bigger and bigger for our screenshotting purposes. Now the location can be found north of Solitude and I featured this mod in two other Skyrim mod videos. I don't remember which ones, probably the last 10 videos. 4.0 adds a dozen new locations, and we are going to be looking at some of them. Outside of Manor, there is a horse carriage, and from here, we are going to be traveling to the location access room. Okay, so from here, we can go to any location or room that's available in this mod. The first new area is the Imperial City, and the first room is the Necropolis. So in the necropolis, there are coffins everywhere, and it kind of looks like a mausoleum uh, based on all the coffins, all the skulls and skeletons laying around, and eerily glowing green lights. And you know what? You know what? This would be the perfect place to house the Night Mother. Yes, I think she would be quite at home here. The next area is the dressing room and theater. The dressing room is perfect for showroom girls or adult actresses, if you know what I mean. You know, you know, just to get prepared for their acting debut, if you guys know what I mean. Because in the theater, we have a stage in the middle, and there's a drone overlooking the stage and surrounded by potential viewers since there are like benches all around. <laughs> now we might do some lovers labbing here, but it might be a little bit too dark, uh, you know, where I need to do some experimenting or whatnot, but we shall talk a little bit more about this later in this video. Now the biggest and the most impressive place in the mod is the cathedral. This is a massive church and look, there is even a confession booth and lord knows that if you're my patron supporter, <laughs> you have a lot to confess about. Uh, but but seriously, um, this is the largest room I've ever seen in Skyrim and surprisingly my frame rate is a solid 60 and yes Skyrim can't really go above 60 otherwise there's like weird physics stuff going on. But anyways, in, in this section of the church, it's obviously where like the high ranking important people and religious people get to be. Oh yeah, hello, check out this drone right here. It looks like it's something from the Game of Thrones and there is a switch to change it into some kind of a shrine. 
And it, oh, it kind of looks like a like a troll skull. Yeah, it looks like the church kind of secretly like worships like demons and do black magic stuff in secrecy. Next door to the cathedral, we have the cathedral tower. All right, so this place over here doesn't look religious at all. It kind of looks more like a harem with uh, these couches and heck, there's even like a small pool right here, like a little jacuzzi. And and oh yeah, right here, there is a switch that turns these kind of these floating gold petals on and off. Yeah, oh yeah, this is the best switch I've ever seen right here. Wink, wink. <laughs> oh, I could keep pressing this all day long. But anyways, let's, let's head down into a different uh, area. So right here, we have the Nor Estate. So let's see, let's go check out the Grand Ballroom. All right, so this right here is another relatively large room. And you know, in, in the middle there, there is uh, like some furniture switches. But honestly, um, now that I think about it, I would have trouble kind of filling these rooms with NPCs because it would create quite a lag fest. Now imagine an entire room of like spectators and ballroom dancers in here, it would literally crash the game. There are three other rooms, uh, so let's go check out one more, shall we? Alright, the abandoned saloon. Well, it's certainly abandoned. The walls are overgrown with vines because no one is taking care of the place and it's a little bit dark in here. However, it might look a little bit different with like a different EMB or lighting mod. Some of the older areas have some stuff added to it too. Okay, so for example, like in Hammerfell. Most of these we have seen before in the previous videos. So one of the new places in the old areas is the Forbidden Altar. It has like an Egyptian theme to it. And another place where we can kind of have like a little harem thing going on. Now probably whoever was here worshipped Anubis, the Egyptian god of the dead based on all, you know, all the bones and blood that we have here. The Call of Manor mod is meant for screenshotting purposes, and we're going to be doing plenty of that with a new outfit. We have Ryan Rio's Dark Elf Blader by Odd, and every medieval deemed game must have Dark Elves in armor. Am I right, guys? Am I right? Okay, so the outfit can be crafted at the forge, and there is a heavy and a light version of the armor. The Dark Elf Blader looks to be a mix between kind of like a kunoichi, like a female uh, ninja, and a medieval knight. It has a kind of like a ponytail that kind of reminds me of Momo G from uh, Dead or Alive or Mai from King of Fighters. And it has a ninja mask. The rest of the outfit has armor plating like a medieval knight on some parts of her body. Now there are four different uh, variations in colors. So let me know in the comment section below which is your favorite color. Now, now my favorite would be the Royal Dark Elf Blader. The white and gold color scheme. Oh yes. Now these colors right there make them a little bit more pure and holy, which makes it all the better when they get lovers lab. <laughs> Now we can also have a uh, stockings variation instead of the metal armor uh, high heels. There are two weapons that's available, a sword and a two-handed longsword. And yeah, it seems like we got uh, plenty of spare weapons here. <laughs> The outfit is available in CBBE, UUMP, COCO, UUMP, and BHUMP. Whoa, this is available in a lot of different body types. Also, this means there is bouncy bouncy physics with her hair, her body, and parts of the outfit. Now these days, I try to find outfits that either have BHUMP or COCO, since it makes for a better lover's labbing experience. The plot for the Patreon version of this video might go something like this. I'm, I'm not. I'm not entirely 100% sure. Okay, so a dark elf tried to maybe steal or kill like the night mother in the mausoleum, and then she is captured and is forced to entertain like the king or the bishop or whatever. And by the way, I finally got horses to work. Yeah, there there was a little bit of problem with horses. That's why I haven't done any. And yeah, that uh, that confession booth uh, in the cathedral would come in handy just about now. <laughs> oh boy. Now the Ryan Reels uh, High Priestess outfit, which I featured a little bit a uh, while ago, like a few episodes ago, which is done by the same uh, mod makers and the same creator. Also, it goes very well here since there's like so many churches and demonic shrines here and there in the Karloff Manor mod. 
At this moment, uh, I hope my Patreon supporters enjoy the next 10 minutes of uh, exclusive footage. Now, if I was a king or a wealthy Yoro, I would have a platoon of Dark Elf Bladers to be my personal bodyguards. <laughs> now, the Dark Elf uh, Blader outfit is made by Ryan Reels, and I have been following him for years. I think I first found him on uh, X Hentai. Some of you guys might know what I'm talking about. <laughs> now, also, since his armor has many different parts to it, like different uh, modules, I'll, you know, you can kind of kind of leave like some parts off and become lighter if you know what I mean yeah unfortunately I can't really uh, show it on YouTube yeah I know I know guys it, it, YouTube sucks YouTube sucks Anyways, that is it for this episode of Skyrim Out of View Boobs and Lubes. Thank you to all of my Patreon supporters. I hope you enjoy the show, the donkey show or whatever. I, I, bet some of the, I bet some of them on the list probably thinking right now, Damn it, Vadiwa, I don't want people to know about our associations and what I'm into. <laughs> but yeah, if you're into like NSFW uh, Skyrim stuff uh, like me, you probably have seen similar stuff for many years and yeah. <laughs> hope, I, I hope it's been uh, pretty good. I hope it's been pretty good. Anyways, stay sexy, my friends. Stay sexy. Let's <laughs> go.